Welcome to another Metters Musings video. My name is Chris. June 21st, iOS 4 will be released for the iPhone and iPod Touch. In one of my previous videos, I did show you how you can install the OS 4 ahead of the June 21st. Right now, I thought I would just run down a couple of the new features that you will see once you have it installed. So the first thing I want to show is the background. Much like the iPad, you can now choose to have a background. You don't have to have the simply black background that Apple provides. And all you have to do is Apple does provide you with some wallpapers that you can use. You just go click into wallpapers right there. And Apple does provide you with a few choices. Now again, much like the iPad, you can select it for your home screen as well as the background. You can choose separate images and such. You can also, of course, go to your camera roll and any pictures that you have, you can set as well as your background or your lock screen. Another one of the new features is changes to the camera uh, application. For the iPhone 4, of course, there will be new uh, megapixel, 5 megapixel camera. Uh, there will be also HD video recording. But for this purpose, the iPhone 3GS, if we click on the camera, what I have noticed here is when you go and you click on the take the picture, the shutter is much quicker. Now, I don't know if the shutter is actually taking the picture faster or not, but it definitely seems a lot quicker. As well, if you go and tap to focus on your screen, it brings up the digital zoom. Five times digital zoom for your camera. So you can take a picture of that. Again, the shutter just seems a lot snappier. If we go over to video mode, now before you had to tap to focus and then that's where the focus point would be. But now with the new firmware, once you're recording, we're recording right there, you can tap anywhere on the screen while it's recording and you can focus on any point. So that's a nice added feature when you're shooting video. Another one of the minor changes has to do with your web browsing and your searching for content. What you can do is you can go into settings now, head back, we'll go to Safari, and right here we have search engine. Now you can choose from Google. Google is the standard. There have been a lot of rumors that Bing was going to become the standard, but Google still the main uh, choice right out of the box. You can also choose from Yahoo and of course, as I mentioned, Bing now. You can set that as your search engine for Safari. Another nice feature of iOS 4 is the fact that you can have folders now. So you don't have to have all your apps just scattered throughout your home page. You can now sort them into specific folders here. I have some folders set up. What you do is you just hold down on an app and that brings them up. They start to jiggle. Then what you do is you just pull it over on top of another app. And what that'll do is that'll set up a folder, photography. You can, of course, change the name of that. I already have a couple of photography uh, folders. So we'll just change this to photography three, hit done. And there you go. You have your new folder. So you can have 12 different applications inside a folder. So you can organize them a lot better. And you can also have a lot more apps now on your iPhone or your iPod Touch. In the new upgrade, there's also been some changes to the mail function. Uh, if you click on mail now, what it has is uh, right now I only have one email account set up. I restored from new and haven't set up my other email accounts. But what it has is mailboxes. So it'll have one general mailbox, much like on your Macintosh. And what that does is that has all the emails coming in. It'll just be in one folder. But of course, you can also separate them into your different accounts and go through them that way. But one universal inbox, which is really, really nice. And of course, iOS 4, one of the big features that a lot of people are excited about is the multitasking or quick app switching. 
That's simply done by tapping the home button twice and that'll bring up a list of apps that you've been running previously and you can quickly switch to them. Notes, bring it back up, go right back into Safari, go right back into Mail. It's very, very simple to use. Of course, there's also your iPod controls and there is the lock switch. Now what this does is it locks the orientation uh, when you're in uh, Safari. So we're in Safari right now. I have locked it. It won't flip around. Now it should be noted that unfortunately, if we go back in here, it's unlocked. You cannot lock it horizontally it will only lock the screen vertically. I wish it would lock it this way. I find that I use it more often horizontally, but right now, for now, it only locks vertically. So that's just a quick review of some of the new features in iOS 4 that I've been using right now since I've installed it onto my iPhone. There are plenty, plenty more. If you want a really complete guide to the new features with iOS 4, I suggest going over to tipb.com. They have an outstanding uh, look at all the new features for iOS 4. I'll have a link to that site uh, in the description below. And if you want to check out more iPhone, iPad news, check out my blog. The link is below. Follow me on Twitter. Once again, the link is below. Please feel free to leave a comment. I love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and have a great day.